we've got two problems here. Uh, both of them involve uh, negative numbers. Both of them involve uh, brackets on one side of the equation. And on that same side as the brackets, there is another term um, in each of those equations with another term which is outside of the brackets and not uh, directly um, connected to the brackets. So that adds a little bit of um, that adds a little bit of difficulty to the whole problem, um, but not really. It's just a matter of understanding what to do with them. So in this case, it is a good idea. We'll do the first one to identify the different terms. So on the right hand side, we've got minus 67. Uh, on the left hand side, we've got minus 3y. Inside the brackets, we've got minus 5. And we also have positive 4y. And immediately outside the brackets, we've got minus 5. Now, minus 5 is directly attached to those brackets. So what I mean by that is it says minus 5 and then brackets. Now, between the minus 5 and the brackets, there's a you know an invisible, if you like, multiplication symbol. Um, so what that means is, is that five, negative 5 is the number outside the brackets. Minus 3... Why? While it is outside the brackets, it's not directly attached to the brackets. So that is not the term that we would say was um, outside the brackets in terms of multiplying out of these brackets, which is the first step that we have to do. We have to really rename all the left-hand side of this equation um, so that it doesn't have the brackets. So let's go about that process. So the first uh, problem is... Um, Whatever term is outside the brackets, we multiply it by each of the terms inside the brackets. So let's start. We've got minus 5 times 4y, which is minus 20y. And we've got minus 5 times minus 5, which is positive 25. So that's the brackets are now gone, and that's a good thing. And we just bring down this minus 3y. We haven't touched that yet. Uh, equals, and we haven't touched minus 67 yet either, so that's fine. Just bring that down. So now we have the second line of uh, our work, or the first line of our working, and you can see that there's minus 20y, minus 3y, and positive 25. What we want to do is we want to simplify this, and we do that by collecting like terms. So again, let's check out which, what kind of terms we've got. I've just mentioned them, so you've got minus 3y, you've got minus 20y, and you've got positive 25. So let's collect the like terms together. Let's deal with the y's first. We've got minus 20y minus 3y. So that takes us down to minus 23y. So these terms have now been collected together. And we've also got this one here, which is positive 25. And again, the right-hand side of the equation hasn't been touched yet, so just bring that down. So what we've done now is we've now simplified and renamed this equation into a form that we can solve. And so basically, what we've got down here is exactly the same as what was up here, it's just in a more simplified form, and the brackets are gone. Okay, so now we can solve this problem. We want to end up with y equaling a value. So let's go about that process. So the first thing we should do is um, cancel out the constant. And in this case, the constant is positive 25. So we do the opposite of adding 25. We subtract 25. And we subtract 25 from both sides of the equation. And so what that ends up with, that cancels out. We're left with minus 23y, and on this side of the equation, we end up with minus 92. So, let's keep going. Uh, minus 23y, now you'll remember that minus 23y really means minus 23 times y. So how can we cancel multiplying by minus 23? Well, we do the opposite, right? We're going to divide by minus 23. Okay, so let's keep that to one side. We're going to divide. I use the fraction bar, so divide by minus 23. Whatever I do to one side, I do to the other to keep the whole equation balanced throughout. And so minus 23 multiplied by minus 23 divided by minus 3 cancels out. It leaves the y on this side, so that's remaining. We bring that down. And on this side, we've got minus 92 divided by minus 23. And that is 4. Okay, it's positive 4 because minus divided by a minus equals a positive, and this is our answer. For the second one, again, let's, let's identify the terms. So we've got positive 2y, we've got minus 6, we've got positive 1, we've got positive 5y, and we've got minus 268. So let's go about solving this problem. Uh, we can bring this 2y straight down. 
because that is not attached to anything else. So we'll bring that straight down. And that leaves us with minus 6 times each of the terms which are inside the brackets. So let's do that. So minus 6 times 5y takes us to minus 30y. And minus 6 times positive 1, that's minus 6. Okay, and this side has not been touched yet. So again, the next step is to identify our terms. So here we go. There we go. And let's collect the like terms. So we're simplifying by collecting the like terms. And there are y's here. So we've got 2y and minus 30y. So that gives us minus 28y. They, so those two have been collected. And the other term is minus 6. So let's drop that down. And again, we just dropped down the two, minus 286. We haven't touched that side. Now we can solve because we've simplified um, the left-hand side of the equation into something that we can solve. We want to now um, try and isolate the y so it's by itself. And we've got minus 6 on the same side as y. So let's get rid of that constant and do the opposite of minusing 6, which is to add 6. And again, we do it to both sides to make sure that the whole equation stays balanced. So that cancels out. What's left on the left-hand side is minus 28y, like that. And on this side, minus 286 plus 6 takes us back up to 200, minus 280. Next step, we've got minus 28y. Remember what I said before, minus 28y really means minus 28 times y. So we want to do the opposite of multiplying by minus 28, which is to divide. I use the fraction bar, remember, um, to, uh, to indicate division. So minus 28 divided by minus 28. And I do that to both sides. And that cancels out on that side, leaving me with the y, which is exactly what I want. And then minus 280 divided by minus 28 is positive 10. Solve.